In a calm, quiet weather pattern, there is certainly a subject that everyone is talking about, at least if you're allergic, and that's cedar. Today, the cedar count not as high as yesterday, but still in the high range. That means the last week we have had every single day, except for when it has rained, in the high or very high range. And unfortunately, two weak fronts that we've been dealing with today will likely mean tomorrow's cedar count will be a little higher than today. And a strong front coming in right around the time we ring in the new year could mean the highest cedar count thus far for January 1st, Monday. 49 outside right now. High temperature made it to 63. We are headed for another night with freezing temperatures out in the hill country and 30s area wide elsewhere. Currently the coldest spots are in the 30s out toward Lano at 39. It's 49 at the airport, 48 degrees in LaGrange. Everyone has winds out of the north. Front number one is already well to our south. Front number two is frankly very weak. It's just going to slide through in the next hour or two. You will not notice it, but behind it we will have just ever so slightly cooler air. So by daybreak tomorrow, 31 in Lano, 34 Blanco, 37 in Austin and 35 in LaGrange. And through your day with some patchy high cloud cover to start off the day. We should see lots of sunshine by late afternoon. High temperature right around 58. For your reference, average high is 62. So this will be one of the rare days this month that's cooler than average. We're 27 days into the month of December and all 20, all but seven days have been above average. 38 by daybreak tomorrow, 37 in Burnett, 37 in Bastrop as well. We warm up quickly, only into the 50s. There will be a northwest wind 10 to 15. That's probably going to continue to fan the cedar pollen. A little colder than Friday morning, 35 in Austin with freezes in areas as close as Georgetown. Maybe out towards Cedar Park and Leander and up toward Florence and as close as Elgin around 33. Freezing temperatures in Bastrop. So do be prepared to protect the plants come early Friday. And then temperatures still in the 50s for another day by Friday afternoon. Things do start to change. We're going to see a southwest wind develop on Saturday. That should send temperatures soaring up to the mid to upper 60s. Then New Year's Eve, talk about a way to end what will be the warmest year. On record for Austin, 70 degrees on December 31st. Happy New Year, and after we turn the page on a new year, we see cooler temperatures, a cedar spike for Monday, and our next rain chance is late Tuesday into early Wednesday.